Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Samir Punia. I'm the pediatric intensivist at Akash Healthcare Super Speciality Hospital. Today we're going to discuss the scenario of pediatric BLS, that is babies less than 18 years, and we'll be specially considering the neonates and infants, that is the babies less than one year. So here we're going to discuss a scenario for a one-year-old baby that we found unresponsive in the room. We need to go and check the baby. We need to tap on the baby's shoulder. And if the baby is a little small, we need to tap on the feet or rub the back to look for the response like, Hey baby, hey baby, are you all right? Or in the smaller baby, we can tap the legs or we can flicker the back. So that's how we check for the response. If the baby is found unresponsive, we need to activate the emergency response system. So as soon as we activated the emergency response system, we need to check for the respiration as well as the pulses of the baby. We need to go at the level of the baby's chest and look for the pulses. It should not be more than 10 seconds to assess the particular thing for the pulses and the respiration. We need to go at the level of the chest to look for the chest rise and as well as simultaneously check for the pulses. It should not be more than 10 seconds before you decide that there is a pulses or not or if there is a respiration or not. Then we need to check for the pulses. So there are different ways of checking the pulses in the baby. First, we can check on the brachial pulse. Where exactly should the brachial pulse would be? Between the shoulder and the elbow joint in medial side of the arm, we need to check for the brachial pulse. Or we can check on the femoral pulses. It should be between the pubic symphysis and anterior superior iliac spine in the crust. We need to check for the pulses. In the elder babies, we can go for the carotid as we can see in the adult BLS scenarios. So it should not be more than 10 seconds before you assess how much is the pulse. If the pulse is less than 60, we consider it an indication for the CPR for the baby. Now, as soon as you recognize the child will be requiring a CPR, you need to go ahead with the compression. So in babies, we can do compression in different ways. In the babies who is less than one year, we can opt for two finger techniques. In that, we need to keep one hand, which is supporting the spine on the back, and two fingers pressing at an area. It should be an imaginary area, which is joining the nip two nipples and between the zippy sternum. And you need to press effectively, where you go at least one third of the anterior posterior diameter, and it, the compression should be 100 to 120 beat per minute. You need to be effective and be loud with your counting for the compression. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, till thirty. So, in one case scenario where we have only one rest square, you need to give thirty compression and two breaths. Now, the other way of doing about is two two hand technique where you need to keep your two fingers, two thumb on the same area and your fingers supporting the back, and the compression should be the same anterior one third with the same compression rate of hundred to one twenty. You should be taking care that your thumb should not be overlapping, it should be touching and it should not be flat. When the, they will be flat, they will not be, be effective compression. You need to be perpendicular to that particular area and compression should be anterior one third and the compression should be 100 to 120. So in babies, which are more than one year, we can use a single hand. Like in adults, we use two hand compression. We can use also a single hand compression for the babies where the size of the chest is smaller, we can go for the same compression with single hand. Now we again go with back to the scenario. This baby which was found unresponsive and there is no chest rise and there is no pulses, we go away with the CPR. Now how we continue the CPR? We need to go with the 30 is to 2 like in adults, we need to go for 30 compression and 2 breaths. We need to first give the chest compression. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And you need to be loud when you are giving a chest compression. Then for the two breaths, either you can use a mouthpiece or you can use an ambu bag, whatever you have. So you need to be very sure that whenever you give two breaths, it should be rising the chest and it should be over one second. One, two, then again you resume the chest compression with the same 30 to two. One, two, three, four, till 30 and then again give two breaths. Now, this scenario changes when we have two rest square. When one is doing a compression, the other rest square arrives, we need to switch over to 15 is to two. 
I will be handling the chest compression and sister will be handling the airway. I'll be doing the compression and she'll be giving the uh, rescue breath. So I'll be continuing with the compression. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Breathe 1, breathe 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Breathe 1, breathe 2. So the same way we continue it for 2 minutes and we reassess. And after the reassessment, if the baby is requiring a CPR to be continued, we need to switch over the roles. Now you need to, need to be very sure that whenever we switch over the role, it should not be swap over, it should be the crossover way. Like I should be going to the airway and sister will be going under the chest compression. And again, the same ways we continue with the CPR. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Breathe one, breathe two. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Breathe 1 and breathe 2. The same way again after 2 minutes we need to swap over if the child is requiring a CPR with the same side swap not the crossover swap. This should be the ideal way of swapping. And again after you need to reassess the baby every 2 minutes and as soon as the code blue team arrives we need to assign the roles like one should be doing the chest compression, one should be handling the airway, one should be giving the drugs, the other person should be attaching the monitors and giving the CPR, and one person should be the team leader and the other person should be recording. So six essential members will be requiring for the CPR of the baby. But you need to start the CPR as soon as possible and whenever you see the child unresponsive, you need to go with the CPR and also activate the emergency response system. The crucial minute for the baby is very important and the way you give the CPR can save the life of the baby. Thank you.